Hello my friends, in this video we're going to work on writing our friend William's name. William is spelled W-I-L-L-I-A-M. So to start we want to start with the, the letter W over here on our left and then we're going to place the rest of our letters over to the right. So to start with our W, we want to start on the top. We always start our letters at the top. So you can pick a, pick a line if you're using lined paper, or you could pick the top of your page if you're not using lined paper. I'm going to call this line my top line. This one's going to be for the middle, and this one is going to be my bottom line. So remember your skyline, your grass line, and your plain line. So when I start my W, I'm going to start up on my top line and draw a diagonal all the way down to my bottom line. So when I say down, I mean bring the line towards your body. And diagonal is a bit turned to the side. So instead of coming straight down like this red line is, you can see that this one comes straight. This one comes down at a little bit of an angle. It's like the side of a triangle. That's what a diagonal is. Now your W from the bottom, the line we just drew, we're going to come all the way back to the top again. So from this bottom one, we're going to come all the way up. Then we're going to come all the way back down again. So now we've got like a little bit of a mountain range going. And then the final line, so from here we come down. Now we're just going to bring it diagonal back up again. Or if you can't do your diagonal, just draw your straight line back up again. So it's diagonal down, and then up, and then diagonal down, and then diagonal up again. And now we've got kind of an upside down M, or kind of looks like a mountain. That's your W. Next we're going to have the letter I. To make your I, you're going to start your letter at the top. So you're going to start on your top line and draw a straight line this time down towards your body. So it doesn't come out at an angle, it comes straight down. Now we have to give your eye a hat and a pair of shoes. To give your eye a hat, you're going to start a little bit over closer to your W. So I'm not going to start on this line, I'm going to start over just a little from here and just draw your straight line across the top line or your top, top of your page, whatever you're using as the top. I'm making it one long line. I don't want to make two tiny little ones, just one nice long line. Now that he's got his hat, he needs his shoes. So we're going to do the same thing we just did up here, but we're going to bring it down to this bottom line. So again, start a little bit over. We're not starting on here. We're going to start a little over and draw one nice long line to the right. Remember, this is your right and this is your left. So from over here, nice long line. Now we have our I. Next we need our first L. William has two L's in it, so for the first one, what we're going to do is we're going to start at the top like we always start our letters. From here, we're just drawing your straight line down again. Just like we did with our I, just one straight line down. From this bottom point now, we're going to give it, we're not giving it a full pair of shoes. It doesn't have a line that comes this way. It only has a line that starts on the straight line and moves to the right. So from this straight line at the very, very bottom, I'm going to put my pen on the line I've already made so that our line is touching or connected to it. From here, I'm going to follow along my bottom line or whatever the bottom of your page is and just draw a straight line to my right. See how it's a corner? It's touching. It starts right where this one ends and moves to the right. Now we're going to do that same thing again to make our second L. So we're going to start at the top, draw your straight line down. So from the top all the way to the bottom towards your body and then slide to the right. From this point, it just goes to the right. Good job, now we need another I, like we just made this I, we're gonna do it again after, the, uh, after our last L. To make our I, we start at the top, draw your straight line down, so just from the top all the way to the bottom, nice straight line. Remember, he's got a hat on, so to make our hat, we're gonna move over just a little bit, see how it's not, see how I'm not starting right here, I'm gonna start a little bit over and then draw all the way, I'm going to follow my top with just one nice long line. If we leave it with one hat and not a pair of shoes, it's a T, but we don't want a T, we want an I, so we're going to put the same thing we just did up here, we're going to do it down on the bottom. I have to make my a little close to my L, because I didn't leave too much room, that's okay though, so I'm going to start a little bit over, right over here, and draw a nice long line to the right. So from here to the right, mine touches my L, that's okay. So now he has a hat and a pair of shoes, and that is our letter I. 
Next, we're going to make our letter A. He has an A after the I. To make your A, you're going to start at the top. We always start our letters at the top, and you're going to come diagonal. Remember, your diagonal was like your W. It's going to come down like the side of a triangle. Not straight down like this. It's going to come out a little bit to the side. Now your A, we're going to put our pen back up at the top. We're going to try and get it so that it starts right here. Right where we started our other line, we're going to try and go from that point and draw another diagonal down. If you look, my A has a nice point to it. I, well, I made a dot now, but it's got a nice point to it instead of a rounded curve. You want to try and get yours to do a point if you can. Now we have to connect these two lines and cross it in the middle. If you aren't using lined paper, you can just pick any space in between the tops and the bottoms of these two diagonal lines and connect them. I'm going to use this line as my middle line. So from one diagonal, I'm just going to draw a short line right in the middle. So from one right to the other, and I stop when I get to the other. It doesn't really have a tail on this side or a tail on this side. It fits right in between both of those diagonal lines. Now we have our very last letter. This is our M. Our M is similar to your W, but if you look, a W, ha its middle goes all the way. But with our M, it's only coming halfway down in the middle. Only halfway. So to start with your M, you're going to start at the top, and you can either make a diagonal down or a straight line down, whichever works for your hand. I'm going to come down just a little bit at a diagonal. So from the top to the bottom, now we need to remember to pick our pencils back up. We're not making a W, we're making an M. So we want to pick our pens or our pencils back up. From this top point, you're going to come down in a diagonal just to the middle. So anywhere, anywhere halfway, not all the way down to the bottom. It doesn't want to be on the same line as this. It wants to be only half of it. From this little point, after we have a half a diagonal, we're going to do our another half diagonal that comes up to the top again. So from here, up to the top again. Now we're going to finish our M by starting in the, where we just left off here and coming all the way down at a diagonal or at a straight, or at a um, yeah, straight line down. Either one, all the way from the top to the bottom. So now you've got diagonal down, pick it back up, halfway, halfway up, and then diagonal down. And now you have your M. So now we wrote the name William. W-I-L-L-I-A-M for William. Nice job, friends.